Greetings, this video is on writing a persuasive introduction for a year nine student looking for a C level. Now the most important thing we need to recognize when we're looking to get a C is that we show evidence of structure in our writing. That is the requirement. So keeping that in mind, we're going to start by looking at a structure. Now there are three steps, oh, bit of a spelling error there. There are three steps to creating a successful introduction and if you can follow these three steps then you will have a C level piece of writing. We're going to be working on the issue today that chewing gum should be banned which tends to be the most common one used in these type of videos. I should really mix things up but that's okay. So when I think about chewing gum should be banned the first step that I need to do is to make a broad statement about the topic. In this case the topic of the essay is all about chewing gum. So it's really important that I make sure that I say something about chewing gum. Now a broad statement is basically something that people can't argue with. So in this case, saying something like chewing gum is a big deal would follow that criteria. It's not Shakespeare, it doesn't sound fantastic, but it is a broad statement and therefore it is a C. Now, if you were to say something like chewing gum is a popular product that can be bought in many shops, that would be just as good. Alternatively, you could write chewing gum is a popular sweet that many students buy or anything like that. Something that people generally can't argue with. Once you've done that, you've done one third of your introduction. The second stage that we need to look at is what we call introducing the subject. Now this is what we're, what we're looking to do in this particular case is show the person what our, uh, what our topic is all about. So we need to introduce the subject to them and that includes showing them what side of the debate or what side of the issue we're actually on. So in this case, we're saying that chewing gum should be banned. We're not big fans of it. So we're simply going to say uh, it causes problems. Now the reason I'm not saying chewing gum again is because I already said it in my first sentence. I'm going to join all these together at the end so you'll see. It causes problems and therefore should be banned. Okay, a very simple statement but essentially what I'm doing is I'm just restating what my topic is and letting the reader know this is the position that I'm taking. Now the third thing that we need to do in order to complete our essay introduction is we need to make sure that we show the reader what we intend to discuss and in what order. So once we've done this we'll have our finished introduction. Now this is a simple step all we need to do is essentially talk about what's going to be happening in our essay. Now, you should have already created a plan for your essay. So the trick is you need to know what each uh, you need to know what each paragraph is going to be about. In this case, I already know that. I know that my first paragraph is going to be about health, my second is going to be about social habits, and my third is going to be about the environment. If you don't know what your paragraphs are about, make sure you think about it before you write this. But in this case, I'm going to keep my language really simple, and I'm simply going to say, in this essay, make sure I take the bold off so you can see the difference there, in this essay, we will discuss how chewing gum impacts on health, that's the first paragraph, social habits, that's the second paragraph, and the environment, that's the third paragraph. Now the only trick that I've put in here is because I put health first, I would then expect that health is going to be the first thing I'm going to talk about. So that's a really important thing. Now, I'm just going to move each of these sections down. Chewing gum is a big deal. It causes problems and therefore should be banned. In this essay, we will discuss how chewing gum impacts on health, social habits and the environment. Now, once those are all together, I have a C level year nine introduction. Done. So make sure that you have followed each of those three steps with your own topic and you'll be well on your way to completing your first persuasive essay.